students welcome back to our channel Diksha Karnataka so as you know only 20 days are left for your next entrance exam that is your comment K so in this video I'll be de uh, discussing a detailed strategy to how to prepare chemistry in this last 20 days so that you can get like a good decent score for this exam okay so in this video what all things we'll be discussing is like if you can say like 20 days is roughly three weeks we have so I'll be discussing like what are the three week preparation plan, what you should do in these three weeks, which chapter you should focus, how many questions, how many mock tests you should write. So we'll be discussing about that. Then I'll be telling you all the high, medium and low priority chapters for your Comet K. Then I'll also give you a weekly schedule to complete the syllabus. And then we'll be just discussing some other important tips that you must, uh, you must keep in mind. Okay, so let us start with this video. Uh, first is your weekly planning for Comet K 2024. So we have three weeks. So in the first week, we have to finish all the high weightage chapters. Okay, high weightage and moderate weightage chapters. We'll try to finish in the first week. We'll do revision and we'll try to write at least one mock test. Okay, in week two, we'll also finish high weightage chapters. If it is not completed, we'll focus on moderate weightage chapters revision and one mock test okay then in the last week test uh, like in the last week we will focus on moderate and low weightage chapters if we have time if not we will be focusing on high and moderate weightage chapters only okay then we have to do revision of week one and two and you can write two mock tests like two to three or hardly two mock tests in the last week okay so this number we can increase like two mock tests here also two and here it can be two okay so like average you should write four to five mock tests in this 20 days okay fine so now coming to this one so here now this there is an analysis of five years of comet k papers and what were the how many numbers of questions were asked from which chapters okay so like can you see if some basic concepts of chemistry two questions two questions two questions are being continuously asked for last three years before it was like one and two so i can say in average we will get one to two questions from this chapter structure of atom one two two one one is there so this also we can say like two chap two questions will get classification we are getting one two one one then we have chemical bonding continuously from last three years we are getting two questions so this can be an important topic thermodynamics you can see one two and in one year we got even three questions from this topic then in the last two years also three and two two questions we used to get from thermodynamics now if you consider equilibrium consistently we'll get minimum two questions two two three and then three and two right so minimum two questions from equilibrium chapter we can easily expect then organic chemistry some basic principles and techniques here also you can see two three four one one right next if you see hydrocarbon so these are all your pu1 chapters right so basically from all the chapters you might expect two two questions from all the pu1 chapters so hydrocarbons are two three three two and then one uh, redox reaction you, redox reaction we can say an average of one question can be asked right now if you see these are the uh, years when there was no delete like no chapters were deleted so now in this case when the chapters have been deleted there is a chance that the number of questions might increase by one or two questions right okay now coming to this one is very important that is pu2 chapters so you can see in the solutions chapter 3 2 chemical kinetics 4 2 3 then you have electrochemistry 4 3 2 from last from 21 onwards 2021 onwards the number of weightage you can see all this uh, four questions have been asked in the year 2023 from all the pu2 chapters right so these are our all high weightage chapters so these chapters are high weightage chapters i'll be giving you the list of these topics also in my next slides so you can see from 2023 2022 and 2021 the number of chapters uh, the number of questions from the pu2 topics have increased right we can easily expect three questions minimum three to four questions from these chapters okay so this one you can take a screenshot you can just analyze it by your own once again just you have to remember that we are getting more number of questions from last three years in this pu2 chapters okay three questions per chapter we are getting okay now as the syllabus is deleted these number may increase to five to six and the previous one may increase to two to three right so okay now so i have listed down these topics so these are the topics from where we can expect three to five questions 
3 to 5 I am saying because the portions are deleted, right. So, this includes all the 10 chapters of PU1, sorry, all the 10 chapters of PU2, okay. That is solutions, chemical kinetics, electrochemistry, DNF block, coordination chemistry, haloalkanes, alcohols, aldehydes, amines and biomolecules, right. Now, coming to medium priority chapters which are like two questions you can expect, those were in the PU1 topics. So, we have chemical bonding, thermodynamics, equilibrium, some basic principles of organic chemistry, hydrocarbons, okay, this one is repeated. So, some basic principles of organic chemistry and hydrocarbons, right. So, this one is your medium priority, here you can expect like two questions. Now, since the portions are deleted, we can expect three questions here and we can expect five questions from here. Now, these are the topics where we can expect one to two questions, structure of atom, classification of elements and redox reaction, right. So, this is a broad division of your all the three chapters like high priority, medium priority and low priority chapters, okay. Next what we have is a week wise planning. So, if you see we have only three uh, like three weeks left. So, this is how I will give you the time in week one, okay. You have seven days now. In this week try to finish solutions chapter, electrochemistry, chemical kinetics, coordination, DNF block, aldehydes and alcohols. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 chapters are there, you have 7 days, try to finish at least 1 chapter a day, okay. Now, what do you mean by when I say a chapter is completed? So, first of all, you have to revise the concepts, okay. Second, you have to prepare its short notes. If you are already having the short notes, you have to just revise it or you can just take, see in a chapter, it is not that all the things you can remember, right. So, there may be something which you are forgetting, which you are doubtful or something that you should make a note of it and keep it, read the whole chapter, revise, prepare short notes and then third is you should do PYQs, 3 to 5 years of previous year questions you have to practice. So, if you are able to de do these 3 things for one chapter, you have to mark that chapter as tick, okay, that is done for your Comet K 2024 exam, clear, okay. Now, coming to week 2, we have now some other chapters, haloalkins and haloarenes, amines, biomolecules, hydrocarbons, equilibrium, you saw equilibrium was a very important topic from PU1, so that is there, then organic chemistry, some basic principles and techniques and chemical bonding, okay. So, in week 2, we will try to finish these chapters, okay. So, if you are seeing uh, this video, right, so today, so from in this, in this week, like up to uh, 28, okay try to finish these chapters. In the next week, we will be doing these chapters and then we are having structure of atom, classification of elements and redox reaction. So, if we are not getting time, okay, if you are not having time for completing, you can leave these three chapters, you may get one or two questions from them. So, first try to finish these two week completely, you have to finish it, focus it and you have to finish these chapters, right. So, I hope this part is clear, okay. Now, okay, so now see here, so what we have to do is, uh, we will be starting a series where we will be doing top 30 questions from all these chapters, okay. I will be following this order where I will be doing the top 30 questions from last previous year questions, okay. So, that you can revise, okay, and you can like this PYQ part and more other some important questions also I will add. So, this part you can do from our video series that we are going to start. And this part, if you have from where will you revise and from where you will get short notes. So, you have recently written your board exams, you have appeared for other entrance exams also. So, I, I hope these chapters, note, notes are ready for you. If, if it is not there, okay, if it is not there, you can go to NCRT books, just read the NCRT books and underline the highlight the important points and make a note of it, okay. So, as I told you, I will be also making some physical chemistry and organic chemistry topic wise videos. So, that also you can check it out. So, now coming to these three weeks, what else we have to do in this? Apart from doing these uh, chapters, you have to keep revising the old content, okay. Keep revising it here and writing mock test. Revision and mock test should continue. So, if I say in week 1, try to write 2 mock tests, okay. In week 2, also write 2 mock tests. In week 3, I will recommend 1 to 2 mock tests based on your preparation, okay. So, 2 to 2, 6 mock tests you can write in the, uh, in this uh, 3 weeks time, okay. That will be ideal. 
okay now i'll be also discussing what you have to analyze and how to analyze that all things we'll be doing okay now uh, apart from this what else you should keep in mind to complete or to crack your comet k 2024 exam are first is ensure thorough and timely revision see now it is three weeks time you have to be very cautious you have to use your time properly and you have to try that within this two weeks you are finishing the major portions the of their syllabus all the high weightage and moderate weightage topics can be finished within this two weeks you have to take care of it okay try from today it is like it is not very uh, difficult because you have written board exam you might have written many other entrance exams also by now right so it is not difficult it is only revising thoroughly and carefully next is take mock test seriously and simulate exam conditions so whenever you are writing mock test please write it under exam conditions sit for three hours do the complete paper do not go for any calculation or use of calculator restroom nothing in between if you write in that then only you can analyze what is your improvement areas which uh, topics are strong which topics are weak which have to be studied further so these all things will be clear if you write mock test okay so do not skip mock test at all okay so i just have told you to write six mock tests two per week that is not a difficult task if you are really serious about the exam this step has to be done clear okay next so conduct proper analysis of the test this is very important you have to do proper analysis now i'll tell you how you should do a proper analysis of the test so after your exam is over you sit for like analysis should be given time you take one and a half hours or two hours for proper analysis so like for example i'll tell you chemistry chemistry is your uh, like question number one okay you have to make a column like this i have been telling this from many time so here you have to write question number okay here you have to write whether it is correct or wrong whether it is correct or wrong you have to write then you have to write which chapter was this question from okay and then you must write the reason why you made the mistake in this question what was the reason like was it a calculation mistake was it a silly mistake or you did not know the concept or whatever you are feeling you just write it in statement okay so now once you do it you can just find out now so question number two three like this you do for all the questions so now you can see from which chapter whatever is the wrong question that belongs to which chapter so that chapter needs to be revised more and then you can also analyze what type of mistakes you are doing so when you write the first mock test and you write the second mock test that mistake should reduce okay so if you do not do any proper analysis there is no point of writing mock test because you are not understanding where you are going wrong you are not trying to improve yourself right so proper analysis of mock test is also very very important to improve your scores okay next so you have to analyze your time um, you have to like manage your time properly you have three subjects pcm so just divide your time accordingly and try to finish all the portions within this two weeks clear next give importance to your health this is very important if you are like ill for two three days your preparation goes down your preparation stops for those days and that will impact definitely if someone who is healthy and studying properly right so this three weeks is very very crucial very important point important time for now so take care of your health avoid any kind of junk food avoid any like any uh, just take care of your health properly and do some meditation physical activities take yourself relax calm yourself and study seriously next we have so just be confident and prepare calmly don't get panic even if you have not done anything if you do the high priority topics from all the subjects you will be able to score good marks okay so till time is there so do not panic if you have if you are not done anything just keep calm and try to focus on your preparation how much you can complete you have to complete till the last moment you should not lose hope okay the you should not think like i haven't studied anything what should i do in this last 3 weeks it's not like that till the uh, last day of the exam you should battle for your you should fight for your rank right okay next we have so this is very important if you want any kind of help okay any subject clarification or any if you are feeling very anxious tensed any type of help talk to your teachers okay your friends your parents your family relatives just talk to them seek help everyone is ready to help you just you need to talk to them okay so yeah so this were the last three week strategy for your comet k 2024 exam so if you have found this video helpful please like share and subscribe the channel thank you